Hi. You are. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, in the hot seat exactly a year ago. Like tomorrow will be a year. And so much has changed. I chilled out. I am experiencing more joy than I've ever experienced in my whole life, and I'm so grateful. And my... Yeah. I've been uh, seeing into my vortex and, and, and getting these glimpses and, and things are manifesting as well. And it's intoxicating, I, I want more of it. And my question is... We like it when you are paying attention to your vibration enough that you know that you're in vibrational proximity to what's in the vortex so that you can have those glimpses because that's extra satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. So your question is? So I have those experiences and I get the impulses and I follow them and I see my vortex and I know what's happening now because I have the conscious awareness like, yeah. oh, it's my vortex. And, yeah. and I'm wanting to understand how I more specifically, when I decide that I have a goal or a tangible, like I want to create this end result. And that's where I seem to get a little stuck in, in creating it. Feel the tension in that. I want to create this end result, which is as if to say, now is irrelevant. The end result is what I want. And meanwhile, I'm in vibrational limbo, which is not true. Yes. A better intention is I want to feel joyful in the unfolding of this, whatever it is. I want to savor it. I want to get all the juice out of it. There are some things that you enjoy doing that you don't really want to rush to the end of. Do you know what we mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking specifically about eating an ice cream cone. Yes. <laughs> and so what's the rush? If there's pleasure in the moment, what's the rush? What's the rush? Esther remembers as she was a little girl living in a little town and she didn't have a bicycle and she walked most everywhere. And there was no place that was very far, but sometimes she would be in a hurry and she just couldn't make her little body move fast enough to where she wanted to be. And she felt this sort of urgency between wanting to close the gap between where she was and where she wanted to be. And it took a long time for her to start enjoying the journey and enjoying the path and singing a song and enjoying where she was. But we want you to try to soothe those things and realize that there's no shortage of time. It just feels that way when you're not utilizing the awesome power of non-resistant thought. There's such leverage in alignment. And so once you get out ahead of this and you care mostly about how you feel, and we know you do, and then you become a more deliberate saverer, where you're not in such a hurry to be someplace better than where you are or improved over where you are, but instead your appreciation is about the desire that is calling you forward. And you've practiced the ease in that because desire that's calling you feels so delicious. Desire that's calling you feels so delicious. Desire that's calling you feels so wonderful. It really is that way. So can you give me a, a specific intangible to do with my thoughts? How do I hold that desire, like the desire for that outcome and still be in that flow, ha enjoying the savoring and the pleasure without getting all crunchy about well, it? What happens, and this is an important conversation to have with deliberate creators. So could it be more effective to, to kind of let go of the end result altogether and well, play with that? It's helpful when you know that money's the bugaboo to leave money out of the equation for a while and think about the fun you're having and the evolution of your program. But we do have a remedy for you. So you feel like you're up to speed with this question? Yes. So whenever a subject is activated, you can tell by the way you feel what your proclivity is, your default go-to, just meaning what you expect, just meaning how you usually think about that. And now, Abraham, you just want me to think another way? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Well, how do I do that? Well, you have to find some way of detaching from your usual vibrational point of attraction about something. So let's say you've got this bundle of sticks and one particular stick on this end of it, it's so obvious that the wanted end of the stick is the active one. And the not wanted of the stick is not even in your vibration. So you could focus on that stick often so that that sticks the reason that you set your vibrational tone. And then 
all your sticks could be improved that's what we mean by taking money out of the equation focused upon your help to mankind focus upon the thrill you have when a new idea occurs to you and you see that it comes across in a meaningful way and somebody gets something that they hadn't gotten before as you focus on that there's no lack in that vibration so as you stay in the aligned end of the pile everything else just takes care of itself haven't you known of yourself or someone else and you fall in love with somebody and suddenly everything starts going right because you're giving all of your attention to the only thing that matters to you and which is causing you alignment and then other things just start to take care of themselves it's like that now we're going to give you a new way of looking at it so now let's put what really matters security freedom happiness ease flow clarity let's make this money stick let's make it about what money represents but let's do it generally because you have so much security in your life and when you focus upon that the money part of security improves too see what we're getting at yeah yeah thank you that it's really really helpful we're just asking you to care about your connection and so connection first so that's what we mean by getting out ahead of it but you point out something really important life keeps coming because law of attraction never turns off so you have a result of something that you've got vibrationally going on and maybe you didn't even know you had it vibrationally going on until it happened till this thing manifested but now you know all the abundance that you live on the other the Sun comes up the Sun keeps shining the water keeps flowing the plants keep growing I can get food wherever I want whenever I want abundance 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 so much abundance so much well-being abundance of clarity and abundance 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 and as you focus in that general way then you change that stick for you you change it you change it and if each time it comes up you take that opportunity to change it again before you know the evidence of it comes but this is something that we we're just going to say right out loud you got to get out ahead of that you've got to stop being a reactor to what's happening you got to get out of it and do something about your vibration that then causes a reaction you see what we're getting at you could activate in yourself things that you love you could get out ahead of that you could change you could get out ahead of that you can get out ahead of everything and what do we mean by get out ahead of it join your inner being in what your inner being knows about specifically that this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment. <laughs>